In the first section of this tutorial, we had a look at what sampling actually is, and we took a very brief look at sampling in Reason. You saw me sampling a sound and using a very basic auxiliary send setup to get the sound into the sampling inputs. Now in this section, we're going to be having a look at the basic routing and levels in our sampling system. And first of all, we're going to concentrate on those sampling inputs and exactly how to use them. Now, if we flip the rack around, we can see the same area that we were concentrating on is currently unplugged. And as I said before, these are exactly the same jack inputs as everything else in Reason, bar of course your CV gate system, but anything audio can be plugged into here. So we could take inputs or outputs directly from our audio interface, and if I flip back around, you can see my voice is actually coming into audio input one. So if I take audio input one and plug it into the left side, we're now getting some sampling input. So if I was to sample with an NN19, you could actually see my voice being recorded in this section here. I'll just get rid of this sampler for the minute. And we'll concentrate on setting up that auxiliary send setup that I showed you before. So if I take this auxiliary send, I'll unplug this currently, and take this auxiliary send, and you can see that it's a stereo line already. It's created it for us. And let's take this Dr. Octo Rex into one and two of the mixer and flip it round. Now you can hear that playing. And you can see, as I turned up the auxiliary one, we're starting to see input into the sampling input area. And it's that easy to route anything into the sampling inputs. So next up, we're gonna take a look at the levels and meters in the sampling system and how best to record your new samples.